no matter how different we are, we all have one thing in common. Well, I guess once you hit a certain age, we have all experienced the traumatic feelings of a heartbreak, a breakup, and traumatic loss of love. We all know what it feels like to be hurt because somebody we love doesn't love us anymore. Or we unfortunately have to tell somebody who we used to love very much, I'm sorry, but I've just fallen out of love. This hurts on a whole nother level and I know you know what I'm talking about. It hurts so much so that most of us at some point after a breakup swear off ever loving again. But do you wanna know why relationships end? Even those that seem to be the most rock solid, true love romances from the beginning. My friends, we are human. We change, we grow apart. And eventually two people who began with the same goals, same desires, same wishes, we begin to change and eventually grow our separate ways and want different things. Our goals and our plans simply do not align anymore. But that is not the only reason, not at all, not by far. In fact, there's a much bigger reason that relationships tend to end. And that is ultimately resentment. Resentment that fuels and stems from somebody hurting the other one and the other one agreeing to forgive them and move on. But let's be for real, for real. Forgiving somebody who's hurt you deeply. Maybe they lied to you, maybe they cheated on you, maybe they spent money that they weren't supposed to spend. As much as we say we forgive somebody, ultimately, do you really forgive them completely to where you're never gonna think about that situation again? Can you honestly say when you've said you'd forgive somebody that it didn't ever change, even in an ounce, the way that you felt for that person? Enter resentment. In fact, honestly, I believe when we tell somebody we will forgive them, that could ultimately be the absolute demise of our relationship. Because I truly believe we as humans are not fully capable of forgiving a person, not at all. It is always in the back of our head. It changes us, especially if somebody cheats or hurts us physically or mentally. Whether we like it or not, it changes who we are. It whittles down our trust. But if we were just a little bit honest with each other and said, I will try to forgive you, but I don't know if it's in my DNA, I think we'd be a little bit better off. But when we say we'll forgive somebody and we know deep down inside, it'll still be lingering in the back of our head. We won't trust them. We'll hold it against them. And secretly we will resent them. It will fester. And that ultimately is the reason relationships end. Resentment. Heartache is by far one of the hardest things a person will ever have to go through in this life. But ultimately we break up. Even the people that are most in love when they start off, they're so similar, they want the same things, they love one another, they just can't get enough of each other. But over time, between resentment and people growing, because that's what humans do, we change, we evolve, we grow, and a lot of times we simply just grow apart. This is why relationships simply do not work out and oftentimes they fail. And all the while we're wondering why? Why did this end so much? I love them, they love me, why? Because my friends, ultimately humans are not made or capable of giving another human the type of love we all desire and look for in this life. This is why humans, the relationships between us, they dwindle out and eventually they die. We change, we screw up, we say we'll forgive the other person, but we know we're not capable of doing that, not 100%. And then we resent the person and eventually, Someone's heart gets broken. Someone gets let down. Somebody gets shattered and their world gets flipped upside down. I had this land on my heart this morning. Whoo, it slapped me upside the head. This is the reason why our relationship with God will be, can be, and should be the most amazing relationship we'll ever have in this lifetime. Do you wanna know why? Sure, we're still human and we change, he knows that. He knows our sins of tomorrow before we even wake. He knows who we are, he made us. But God, Yahweh, my friends, he is the same Yahweh he was in the beginning of time as he will be today and at the end of time. Yahweh, my friends, never changes. He never changes at all. And when Yahweh says he forgives you, he means it. In fact, if you were to pray for a sin today, that you were just completely devastated you committed and you prayed and you prayed and you said father please forgive me please and then tomorrow morning you woke up and you still felt this guilt and you go to him and say father please forgive me for this sin and you just repented for it yesterday you know what he'll say to you my daughter my son what sin are you talking about 
I don't see that sin because you were already forgiven of that. And God doesn't forgive like we do. He doesn't hang on to resentments and push it in our face. When he forgives us, he forgives us completely. And that sin is literally washed away. Just like a pebble on a beach. You see it, but then the tide comes and takes it out to sea. It is impossible to find it again. That is how God forgives us. How true forgiveness is done. Something humans, unfortunately, are not capable of doing. And that is why our relationship with God lasts. And that is why our relationship with God, Yahweh, and Yeshua should be the most important relationship in your life. And don't even get me started on the type of love he gives to us. It is, again, nowhere near the type of love any of us are even capable of doing, let alone conceiving. It is perfect. It isn't conditional. It isn't one-sided or changing. It's not held over our heads as a threat. It is pure. It is beautiful. And it is like something this earth has never known. And it is ours. All we have to do is ask. So if you're out there looking for the perfect love, and that is your number one goal in this life, my friends, I would highly suggest you stop looking on dating apps and online and in grocery stores, produce aisles. And instead, my friends, look up. Because if your goal in this life is to finally find true love and you're looking on dating lines and bars or in grocery stores, I'm here to tell you, you've been looking in the wrong place. Yahweh is never going to change. He is never going to hold that sin that you committed against him over your head even years later after he'd forgiven you. Not like us. And he, my friends, unlike so many people on this earth have done to us, he will never leave your side. He will never abandon you. And the most beautiful thing about it all is he wants a relationship with you. In fact, he wants that more than anything in this world. Now that, my friends, that's pretty cool.